So we just checked in our wonderful bungalow here. Nice terrace. My expat diary and his friends came together in the Thai city of Korat, where his Thai friend named Ek will marry his German girlfriend, Sarah. The groom arranged the housing for the wedding guest in a wonderful bungalow complex, not far from the location of the wedding ceremony. birthday party the night before the wedding and during the day the group went to a clothing store for wedding garments where the bridesmaids and groomsmen rented traditional Thai wedding outfits which you could see at the beginning of the video. So it's 6 a.m. and the wedding starts. Good morning! Good morning. Finally, the day of the wedding had come. The wedding guests were picked up with a minivan and brought to the place where the ceremony will be held, which is the same location as yesterday's party. The wedding ceremony started quite early with the arrival of Buddhist monks who came to bless the wedding couple. It was incredibly interesting to observe the traditional rituals and customs, which were totally different from a Western-style wedding. The monks chanted and said prayers whilst a lit candle was placed in a bowl of water. This lustral water was then used later to bless the couple. My expat diary was very fascinated by what he saw, although he didn't quite understand what was going on. Even though the group already felt hungry, that rice wasn't for eating. Interestingly, it was part of the blessing, and the wedding guests received plates of rice which they had to scoop in pots on the table. In fact, nobody was allowed to eat until the monks had finished their meals. Apparently, the holy water was not only used to bless the wedding couple, but also some Thai guests were eager to receive a blessing. Eventually, it was time for breakfast. Although at this time, it could already have been considered lunch. Mainly traditional Thai food was served, of which most meals were so spicy that I couldn't eat them. After everyone had eaten, the entire village came to join the celebrations. It was absolutely crazy. The whole village came to crash the wedding and everybody danced, drank and partied while following a pickup truck playing loud Thai music and people were also holding some kind of giant leaves. I really love those strange Thai traditions. But you always drink uh, this warm whiskey in the morning when you have wedding. Every time on a wedding you drink another. Well, how, how can you party all day when you drink so much? Yeah. Finally, 
Finally, the tour ended where it started and the actual ceremony continued. Now it was time for everyone to express their personal blessings to the wedding couple. Surprisingly, the couple's parents even arranged live music and dance performances. By that time, most villagers had already left, except one who apparently had a bit too much Thai whiskey. Close to the end of the ceremony, dinner was served while the performance continued in the meantime. Most dishes wouldn't be served at a Western wedding, such as dead ants. So that's already it from the wedding. We had a lot of fun, but unfortunately the wedding couple already got divorced a year later. It's good to eat the Thai breakfast. It's all chili. All chili. Now we're in the bus to Bangkok and the Thai music is so noisy. Yeah, the wedding is over and we're going back. So how was the wedding? Do you like it? Do you like the wedding? Yes, so why is it special? What do you like? I like the traditional way. It's, I've never seen it before. Okay, but how about the Thai food? Thai food is good. Yeah. It's yummy. But it's too spicy? No, not spicy. No, you like very spicy. Yeah, yeah I already have diarrhea from this. <laughs> okay, you know, we have some snacks. The bus give us some unhealthy bread. And, uh, Oh, I just drop on my pants, now I'm wet, I pee my pants because the uh, water. It's the water which fell. This is the longest single flight check-in line I have ever seen. And these are the worst exchange rate I have ever seen. So don't go to this thing. So by the way, I'm back in Bangkok. And I finally go alone again after traveling uh, two weeks with Annette. It was a nice time, although we had so many problems with the hotel and the uh, luggage was uh, stolen. Yeah, anyway, it was a good time. <clears throat> but I'm also happy to travel alone because I have more freedom, I can do whatever I want. We are here at uh, Suvanabumi Airport, I don't know how to pronounce it. And I uh, had a wonderful time going to the wedding uh, in Korat. And uh, yeah. It's uh, already my fifth time to Thailand, but I always like it because it's cheap and nice and clean and warm. And I really like the airport, it's so big. And now it's going to Bangladesh. Check where my flight is. So excited. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to My Expat Diary. Please leave a comment and support this channel.